What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new terrible head sculpts. We're, we're diving back in, man. I'm diving back in. I told you there'd be a part two. Well, by God, there's a part two. If you guys missed part one, talking about some head sculpts that I dislike, that I hate for Mattel all time, definitely go check that video out. It was very fun. Very fun to get on here and rant about these figures and how terrible they look. But in all seriousness, that one was a lot of fun. And I told you there'd be a part two because there are plenty to go around. And I got a lot of suggestions that it kind of, you know, it cleansed my memory a little bit. And they were like, oh yeah, those figures did. You know what? Those head sculpts were terrible. Let me go back and let, let's take a look at them. But let's let's go ahead and dive into my list today, man. We got some good stuff going on. Or I guess we just say the opposite of that. We got some trash stuff going on. But let's dive into it, man. Starting out at the top, man. We're starting things off with the one and only Brett the Hitman Heart, man. And I'm not even going to give you a series, Brad. I'm not even going to give you a series because you know as well as I do, this man is just like Logan Paul is incapable of good gear in the ring. Bret Hart is incapable of having a good head sculpt. Now, I will say he has, I think, two total solid head sculpts one good one in my personal view but you can let me know down in the comment section below but the ultimate edition had terrible ones that survivor series one was terrible son the hair like he looks like a nun or something man he looks terrible the the head sculpts on the brand new ultimate the monday night wars ultimate bret hart every single one of them was terrible you can kind of fix it up if you put the glasses on there i will say it does look a little bit like bret hart but you take them glasses off and that man becomes Ozzy Osbourne all over again. And, we, you know, that old WrestleMania Elite and that best of pay-per-view Toys R Us exclusive from back in the day looks just like Ozzy, man. It's unreal. It looks just like Ozzy Osbourne. I, I, I don't know how they did it. It looks just like... I feel like I'm watching VH1 in 2005 right now. That shish is crazy with Ozzy Osbourne as an elite figure for Mattel. I mean, I guess they kind of did share resemblance in their older age but that shish is crazy man that's some crazy shish right there that ultimate edition bret hart and then the rest of it like what is wrong with them it's like becky lynch it's like they just struggled forever now i will say the only good head sculpt is the elite 94 i enjoy the elite 94 bret hart head sculpt i will tell you that right now i'll go to war for that bret hart right there but every other bret hart i don't like they just don't have the likeness man they do not have the likeness they don't look like bret hart you have that george washington looking head sculpt that i turned into george washington looks just just like George for whatever reason. Got the hair down in the face. It's like they just cannot make their mind up. Do we want the hair completely out of the face? Do we want it a little bit in the face? And I just think that they've missed the mark a ton, man. But Bret Hart had to be on this list. That is probably the number one request I got out of last. the last time we did this was Bret Hart. Bret Hart, they were like, not even a Bret Hart. Well, it was because I knew we were making part two. And Bret Hart was kind of an obvious choice. So I figured I'd plug him into the part two. But let's move on to my next head sculpt that I despise. And this one may be off the radar, man. This one may be off the radar for you but i'm going wwe elite 34 and 37 john cena i do not like this head sculpt it's supposed to be kind of like a pissed off head it doesn't look good man he's got like the lip tucked in and it's like his piercing lips it just does not look good. This is not an attractive head sculpt for John Cena. I think he has so many better. I don't know if this is his worst head sculpt ever. I know last time we talked about the, the second defining moments John Cena head sculpt. I hate that one too, but this one is terrible. And I don't know which one's worse, you know? I think that they, they need to go back to the drawing board. I can think of another John Cena head sculpt that I hate that maybe can be a part three. If you guys want a part three, let me know down in the comment section below. But John Cena, this one's not good. And I actually do have some fix-ups and figures that have this head sculpt on them. But geez, man, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I definitely want to switch those out with some Elite 100 something. You got to switch it out. This shish is terrible. But that is not the only figure we're going to discuss, man. We also have a look at another head sculpt. And it is going to be Elite Series 2 Triple H. This head sculpt doesn't get near enough hate. We need to hate more on this head sculpt, man. It is early on Mattel. I mean, it's one of the first Mattel figures that they made. It was on some basic figures. It was on the Elite 2. And this head sculpt, it was also on the Elite 7, I think if I'm not mistaken, that just got a re-release and they changed the head sculpt. This head sculpt's dreadful. It's just one of those cartoony, no life, like, it just looks so cartoony that it's not even a thing. This shish is terrible, and I, I've never liked this head sculpt. I remember back when I first started collecting Mattel, I got the Elite 2, immediately head swapped it. Immediately, and it wasn't, like, right when Elite 2 released. I got Elite 2 Triple H in a lot or something because I was looking around a lot for some lots to, you know, quickly get my collection started here before starting the YouTube channel. And the Elite Triple H, I think I got the Elite two, Triple H men on car for like $30 back in 2015 or something like that. And I immediately opened it, put the shirt on there, and it was a great find. It was a great price. It was fantastic. But I did put 
a different head sculpt on it, and it made it look a thousand times better. This head sculpt's just dreadful, man, so I wanted to talk about that one. Let's move on to the next one, man. WrestleMania Elite Mick Foley. Agony. If Agony were a head sculpt, this is what he would look like. This guy looks just like he... I don't even know, man. Like, we know that... Cactus Jack goes through hell on a mat, you know, every single match, it seems like, if you go back through his career. This man looks like he literally looked into the pits of hell and fell into it, you know what I mean? He looks like he has been beat to hell as well, and in this matchup, to be fair, he was beat to hell, but this is not, this just doesn't look like Mick Foley to slightest. If you were to show me this head sculpt randomly before I knew this was a figure of Mick Foley, I would tell you straight up, I have no idea who that is. This guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. And so th this one's just not good. I cannot stand this Mick Foley head sculpt. And I know some people that actually like it, which is kind of unreal, to be honest. But yeah, man, I don't I don't like it. It's not good. Not good stuff. Not great stuff. Just horrific stuff. So that is our next figure in the set. We have our next figure in the set. That is our next figure we're discussing is the Mick Foley WrestleMania figure. I just, when I look at him, I just, I feel pain for him because he looks that way. Just a, not a good figure either, but the head sculpt's even worse. And then we're moving into another WrestleMania Elite, and it is going to be Edge, man. I cannot describe how damn wrong they got this Edge. This Edge, this head sculpt is dreadful. He looks like a rat. He has a Stone Cold Steve Austin torso for no reason. I do not know why they would put that on him. You know, they have used the Daniel Bryan torso for Edge figures since the dawn of time. Maybe they did use this figure as a, you know, like they probably used a Stone Cold as the base for this figure, and they just kind of re-released it repainted it all those things but lord have mercy brad this torso is terrible for edge not not ever not ever has this torso worked for edge i mean i don't like the daniel bryan torso but this one right here is not good either the terry funk torso is the one that you want to use if you're going to make this fix up and there was plenty of pissed off head sculpts they could have used instead of drawing a new one or coming up with a new one for this edge so i think they could have done something there with that and played around with it but that is not the last figure that we're going to discuss here today man the last figure that we're going to discuss in elite figure form that has a dreadful head sculpt is going to be Elite 87 Trish Stratus. Now, we did bring the, or Elite 88, I'm sorry, not Elite 87, that, that doesn't exist. Elite 88 Trish Stratus, want to fact check myself right there. This figure not only is, is just nothing like Trish Stratus, it looks nothing like Trish Stratus. If you break this down a hundred different ways, I've seen people say they like this head sculpt. Who are you looking at, bro? This looks like a random woman plucked off the streets of San Diego or something like that. You, you go down to the beach and you find Trish Stratus tanning like this down in San Diego, man. This looks nothing like Trish Stratus. This is her cousin, her second cousin, her freaking Nana. I don't know. This is not Trish Stratus at the slightest. And I remember when I first saw this figure, it got a big woof. A big woof, a big Buzz's girlfriend woof. And this looks just dreadful. And a lot of people were saying that they like this figure. It's just the short was the skirt was too small or something, which I really couldn't give a damn because the head sculpt's so bad that that's all that you focus on when you get this figure or look at this figure. And it's so it's trash because not only did they make one Trish Stratus for you to buy, they made fucking two. And this figure overall is just dreadful, man. Figure dreadful overall. The head sculpt's dreadful. It's on single jointed arms. It has no details whatsoever. Just a flat painted on belly button, flat paint just going all the way around this guy and then you do have the basic boots on there which just throws it over the top to give it the big epitoma of mid and trash wrapped up into one cohesive unit here but i think that's the last head sculpt i wanted to touch on i could probably go on and on i can already think of a few more head sculpts to put on here that i did not uh touch on but i guess i could try to give an easter egg if i can think of one uh, maybe i'm not entirely sure may uh, i don't know we'll see we'll see about that stuff but anyways man i think that is pretty much going to wrap up more terrible head sculpts that i wanted to discuss here today man i hope you guys did enjoy i'd love to know where you stand on these and i always appreciate when you leave me your own head requests down in the comments section. Maybe you say, hey, what do you think about this head sculpt? Or what do you think about this? You can let me know. Or if you want to ask immediately or what have you, then you can. Uh... I just like to know your thoughts, man. I think that's like one of my favorite things about the entire community is the community itself. You know, not just contributing to the community, but ask questions and find out where you guys are heads are at and kind of seeing the overall viewpoint of everybody. And then maybe if I'm in the wrong, then I'm in the wrong. But I like to hear all the arguments. I like to see who is the best and all those things. So I don't know why. I just got a random like craving for potato salad. Jesus. I could slam a potato salad right now. Anyways, that's pretty much going to wrap the video up, man. I'd love to know your thoughts on my head sculpts down in the comment section below. Also, what you think is a dreadful head sculpt. And if you missed part one, please go check that out. I greatly appreciate it. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for all your continued support. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.